Hello, my magical friends. Welcome. Welcome to Meryl's Mystic. I am Meryl, and I am so happy that you're here. We are going to do a tarot reading for our full moon in Taurus for our fire sign. So if you are a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising sign, hopefully some of these messages will apply to you. But if they don't apply to you, they're not your messages. And I would like to remind you to not give your power up to any reader. It is up to you. You have a conscious choice whether to follow the advice or not. So before we get started, I want to remind you that all of my links are attached below. However, you would like to find me for private reading or one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentorship. My coaching business, Into the Mystic with Meryl, helps you bust out of your shell and into the mystic where you connect with your divine self which is your highest self, which you should get to do and feel comfortable in your skin and step into your power. So however you want to reach out to me, the links are attached. All right. So before we pull cards, let's drop in for a minute and breathe. So wherever you are, if you can close your eyes, do so, or just soften your gaze, look down a bit. And just be in the moment so rare that we just get to be in a moment we're always running around rushing there's we have so much to do and so little time to do it but time is a construct and the more we accept that the easier it gets so let's just take a moment and trust that it's just time is just gonna pause for us and feel wherever you're sitting or laying or standing, whatever your body is touching, be aware of your body, be aware of your, your body is touching and how that's supporting you, how it's supporting your weight, how the earth is under that and the earth is supporting you. Take a deep breath. <sighs> And then let's expand our consciousness to above, to just out beyond where we are, be conscious of our environment. And then we will imagine or look beyond that. And then we'll imagine we're beyond that out into space. We're looking down at Earth and it's so small from where we're at. And we're connected to the heavens. And take another deep breath. And we invite all of our spirit guides to join us and trust that we're going to get the exact messages that we need and help us guide us with the lessons we are supposed to learn as we fly through space on this magical rock. So come back into your body and take another deep breath. And open your eyes. That just feels so nice. <laughs> I need it too. <laughs> I need it so badly. All right. So our full moon in Taurus takes place on November 12th. That's a Tuesday. <laughs> Um, and if you've noticed, I'm going back to the recordings of the moon videos so that, um, <laughs> I just got a little hungry. I was like, I'm not hungry at all. Let's do this. And of course I just got a little hungry. Um, so I'm going back to pre-recording the readings for the signs and then or for your elements. And then I will be doing live Q and A's right around the time of the full or new moon. So it'll be on the day of, or the day before, or the day after. So um, the new moon, or I'm sorry, the full moon in Taurus will be on the 12th. And so I will be doing a live Q and A the evening of the 13th. So keep an eye out for that information. And that will take place on the Merrill's Mystic Facebook page and possibly simultaneously my personal page, trying to work that out. Um, so that's what we will be doing now. We will be doing pre-recorded 
moon videos. I will, there will also be some bonus videos here and there for other things. And then live Q and A's right around the time of the new and full moon so that we can connect. So bring your questions, let me know what you're experiencing at the time and we'll get you some live answers. Very cool. Um, also, Mercury in retrograde is in Scorpio during Scorpio season. A lot of Scorpio energy right now um, till November 20th. And the thing about this retrograde, it's the last retrograde of the year. It's the last retrograde of the decade. Um, and in all this trans, Scorpio is the sign of transformation. So we are in a lot of transformational, transitional energy, and I highly recommend you take advantage of it. And if you were not really taking advantage of, um, this last retrograde season, which basically took place from like May to October, um, this is kind of the last push to do that, finish up some projects, um, Make sure, yeah, making space in your life that involves purging, getting back into a meditation practice, um, because although we are in the middle of a conscious expansion and basically an ascension of our collective consciousness and how we exist on this planet, um, it doesn't mean it's going to be like all easy peasy and a, you know, utopia situation. Um, but the more we're doing our own inner work and especially, uh, getting into a meditation practice, whatever that may be, um, start small yoga, mindful walks, um, writing, writing can be a meditation practice, art, um, so many great guided meditation apps out there. Uh, anything to kind of cultivate this feeling of being the eye of the storm. Because there's all, still going to always be movement around us. But the more we can cultivate that stillness and strength in ourselves, the easier we can weather the storm. Uh, so definitely try to take advantage of this energy. It is so palpable. Um, and there's just such really cool stuff going on. I encourage you to read, to seek out other astrologers and tarot readers. All the people who are um, really uh, tapping into the unseen energy uh, that science has yet to really be able to see how to measure. Um, the, the science that really does get into that is quantum physics, and there's a lot of cool stuff going on in quantum physics right now. Um, stuff that's been going on for a while uh, that... Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking back at information from the 90s and it just proves to me that there is a conscious shift going on. And so uh, I definitely like part of that inner work is like being tapped into that. So I encourage you to do some of your own research and see what's out there and don't take anything at face value, faith, belief, science or otherwise. Um, we get into these boxes of what our faith tells us or what science tells us and and in both cases um, things that were at one point solid proof or belief in faith or science sometimes can be proven um, not true later. So we really do create our reality. Um, so everything exists and doesn't exist at the same time. But we can't go do too deep into that. I just employ you. Um, I just encourage you to go seek that out, especially information on the zero point field. I'm just going to drop that little seed in there. If that sparks your curiosity, go, go. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. So um, this Taurus Scorpio energy too, I, you know, what's really been coming up is uh, relationships and how we, uh, ooh, how we exist in our relationships. Oh, you know, I think I'm just gonna take this as this. Let's do that way. Cool. Okay. So <laughs> relationships, um, relationships with ourselves, relationships with, with others. We really need to be um, being aware of if our relationships with others are healthy or toxic and how to shift that or how to get away from that. Um, <clears throat> focusing on our, our relationship with ourselves and how that affects our relationship with others. Um, what did I write here? Uh, good time. Oh, good time to wrap up goal, ra uh, wrap up 
projects or reconnect to them goals recommitment um th these are all uh pra self pr love practices it's like all about getting into the self-love practice reconnect to yourself um and that includes what, like i said before like a meditation getting your body moving um eating better <laughs> i i trust me i've been looking in the mirror a lot about where i'm not always treating my whole self well so it's about treating the whole self well your mind your body your soul okay so i'm gonna pull three cards and then i'll pull a shaman card at the end so first we're gonna look at what your relationship with yourself looks like what your relationship with others looks like and what your what the advice is and right away we got three cards so that's great um so your relationship with self for my fire signs aries leo and sagittarius moon sun moon and rising excuse me uh so seven of pentacles this is great good job fire signs you've been working on it <laughs> this means you've been working on it um you're getting close to kind of a self mastery point of your relationship with yourself i hope um but you know there's still some tending that needs to be done um so again like looking at those things am i you know making the best choices for myself have i fall have a couple things i used to do for myself that i love have those fallen to the wayside um what do i need to pick back up what are some little changes i can make you know this really is kind of that point where um you know things are starting to blossom things are starting to go well um but you know he still has having to be patient still making sure that his crops are getting like the water and nutrients and sunlight and everything that they need you can't pick your fruit too soon that sort of thing so it's like you're so close but make sure you're just like tending to things um especially in the physical since it's coming up um as pinnacle so how are you treating your body are you moving it are you um you know drinking too much are you putting too much sugar in it hi <laughs> We stopped drinking we you know took a break from drinking and, and then there was like a little time where we were replacing the drinking with sugar and now we're kind of like getting away it's a process and a practice so really give yourself a break here but like just you're you know take take your time this feels very like oh just gonna tend to these little things here and there tend to my baby you know it's even like starting a fire you can start a fire but you have to keep like feeding it for it to keep growing okay your relationship with others king of wands in reverse so this is a fire sign right here and he is in reverse so this feels like definitely there's a wall up i mean it's this is you in your highest you know this is the highest um evolved fire sign the king and the queen the king's just a little bit more they're not they're not gender specific it's just to represent um the different like levels of evolution in yourself so <laughs> back to you and your relationship with others right now it's interesting that this is you in reverse with your walls up and also just like not quite at your best self so it's almost like you're holding back because you don't feel like you're your best self um maybe you are thinking like well i'm not there yet i'm not you know this is like perfect i keep feeling hearing perfect like it's almost like you're not you you're you're not giving your how am i say this It's like you're you're holding back your light because what you feel like you're presenting is not perfect. I hope that makes sense. Um it's really like not perfect. Like it's not like I just hear keep hearing you like you go, it's not perfect. It's no, I can't put myself out there because I don't this isn't what I want to feel or this isn't how I want to put it out there so I'm but you're doing yourself a disservice like it feels like you you sh you should still be putting yourself out there imperfections and all like you're holding you're holding back and it's like 
it's um, dimming. It's dimming your light, really. Because you're just like, you, ugh. <laughs> it feels this very like, ugh, like I can't. I mean, maybe you can't right now. Maybe you're. I mean, there's definitely some um, uh, going in oneself energy in Scorpio. Scorpio is really good at doing that and we have all this energy right now so maybe you just like you're feeling like you need to protect yourself um, or you need to be doing more of this before you're ready to come out and so maybe it's like maybe it's just validating like it's okay that you don't want to go and be that person. You know you're not you're not feeling like your most charismatic awesome attractive self right now so like I'm just gonna keep it over here okay let's see what the advice is page of swords Ooh, page of swords for your advice what does this mean so the page of swords can be like new speaking opportunities new ideas um it's interesting that you had earth fire and air It's almost like because of this, it's like you need you need to write your a new story for yourself. Because if you keep subscribing to this story, you, like you're never gonna turn it around. Does that make sense? Like this feels like new story. <laughs> like if you don't like to feel like this, it's like start. What kind of stories are you telling yourself that are keeping you in this place? That you're not perfect, that you're not good enough, that you're not gonna like me, I'm not uh, it's like, uh, it feels, um, a little, uh, self-fulfilling prophecy. So what kind of stories are you telling yourself? And are those stories manifesting into you not feeling the best about yourself? And are you doing it to yourself? I think so. <laughs> Sorry, fire signs. Like, this just feels, yeah, this feels very much like you are doing this. <laughs> You're doing this to yourself. Stop it. Stop that right now. You're allowed to write a new story. If you don't like how things are going, I mean, that. I think that's part of this, like, tending to what needs to be tended to. You know what I'm saying? Oop, there's one. Oh, water. Water signs got water last time. Water. This is uh, American Shaman Oracle. There it is. Um, water. It's near the back. On to the last. Okay. Water symbolizes purification, regeneration, birth, revival, and cleansing. Hello, all this energy right now. It signifies an evolutionary shift from former self to new self. Many myth, myths, many myths around, excuse me, many myths around the world speak of a great flood and the new life that is revealed after a deluge. Water begins without boundaries. Then, as soon as form has separated itself from water, it comes under the laws of time and life, thus acquiring limitations. The invitation. When water arrives, you're invited to watch your emotions. Know they are going to be changeable and do not settle on a conclusion at this time. If you feel joy, feel that fully. If you feel sad, allow sadness to move through you. I know you've been having a hard time with that. Your last couple readings have said so. Water invites you to see the ebb and flow of events and trust you can ride the wave of opportunity when it arises. Natural flow is here. Go with it. Boom. Mic drop. Um, you're right where you're supposed to be. It's okay if you don't feel your best right now. Stop. It's kind of like stop being so hard on yourself for even having to retract. I know like fire signs, you're so used to like showing up and being your charismatic selves and like you're, you just like, yo, here I am and I'm here and la 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 and people strive on them. They love that. And that's usually why they like invite, want to invite you all the time. But like, if you're just not feeling it, don't force it and start catching what your brain is doing. 
it's time to write, like, rewrite those little stories you're telling yourself. Stop giving yourself such a hard time. Ebb and flow, baby. Ebb and flow. Okay? Sometimes there's a down. And right now, there that energy is prevalent right now. You can't, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to that say they're in a funk, you know, or they're, like, feeling down. I'm feeling in a funk. I'm feeling, you know, a little, it's, when we're all collectively feeling that way, we all kind of just, it's, we're gearing into the yin season here in the northwest hemisphere <clears throat> so we're getting into winter in the northern hemisphere where we're getting into the yin season it's really all this energy is really trying to get us to just get in flow with the natural energies too that are that exist in our world we used to be that thousands of years ago now it's been we had to evolve to survive. Now we're evolving for comfort so that we can get back into that natural rhythm so that we can thrive. Going from survive to thrive, baby. That's, that's what we're, that's what it's all about. Okay. <laughs> um, cool. That is all folks. And I will see you hopefully Meryl's Mystic Facebook live on November, the evening of November 13th for all your questions about this full moon and I will see you there. Thank you. Love you all. Bye.